Welcome everyone to our new series, Living with the Times. The Ultra Rebbe, the first Rebbe of the Chabad movement, taught us to live with the times. And that means to connect to the Torah portion and see how our lives are reflected in these teachings. But it also means to connect to the upcoming holidays, to the energy of each month, to different things that happened in history on a particular day, and of course, current events. So we welcome everyone to our new series. We are right before the holiday of Shavuot, and there's a beautiful theme that runs through it that's represented by the offering that we bring on Shavuot, a mincha chadasha, a new offering. When we came to Mount Sinai, it says, Bayom Hazeh Ba'u. On this day they came. So Rashi is a bit troubled with the grammar here. Why does it have to say on this day? Why doesn't it say on that day? Because we're talking about a past event. So he makes a beautiful comment. He said it's to teach us that the Torah that we learn every day should be as if it was given today at Sinai. In other words, we should connect every single day to that awesome event of receiving the Torah at Sinai. And the Mincha Chadasha that we bring, the new offering, is very, very connected to the actual meaning of the word Torah. Usually the word Torah is is said to mean hora'a. It's translated as instruction. Hora'a is instruction. And of course, that's correct. The Torah is our instruction book, our manual, our guidebook of how to live in this world and to get the most out of it. But there's another meaning for the same root of Torah, and that is hara. Hey, reish, hey. Hara means to be pregnant. Harayon. So there's a beautiful idea that comes from this, is that the Torah is quite literally pregnant with meaning, constantly giving birth to new insight. And so therefore, that is one of the major themes that we are connecting to on Shavuos. By bringing a mincha chadasha, we bring a new offering. But our new offering, technically, in the time of the Torah, it was a new offering of the wheat harvest. But on a spiritual level, it means we're bringing to the table, we're bringing to our perspective of Torah that we want to plug in to the newness of Torah. And one of the greatest joys in life is when, just for example, we read the same Parsha every year. Let's say it's the first portion of the Torah, Bereshit. And we've learned it 20 times, 30 times, 40 times. And then on the 41st time, let's say, we see something we've never seen before. We are privileged to find a new perspective, a new understanding burst into our consciousness. That brings so much joy to the soul. So the holiday of Shavuot is coming. The custom is that we we stay up and we learn Torah. So I just want to bless everyone that this Shavuot, we take what Rashi said And we really apply it to ourselves, that when we learn Torah every day, it should be new to us. We should be open to new perspectives, new attitudes, new understandings of the the pregnancy of the Torah. And the Torah is giving birth to new insight every day. May we be blessed to connect with it.